What's up guys, I'm Mike from Stocked Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you the complete strategy guide and how to use the custom stock algorithm. So what you wanna do is you want to log on to TradingView and then you want to, one, if you're, especially uh, if you're on desktop, head over to indicators, go to invite only scripts and then scroll down to where you see Stocked Up's custom stock algorithm predictor. Click that and then the algorithm will be applied to your chart. Um, if you're on your phone, you do the same thing. You just have to click indicators and then, like I said, go to invite only scripts. Scroll down to where you see Stock Dup's custom stock algorithm predictor. Now guys, when you sign up, you have to email me your username, uh, mike at stockdup.university. Um, I'll type it out right here for you guys, mike at stocked up that university you guys should have already saw this um on the first page so that's what you want to do you want to mike at socked up that university and you can just email me your trading view username and then i will give you access once you have access then you will see the ability to add it to your chart so now we're going to get right into how to use the algorithm you know uh, some of my tips and tricks i'm the one who coded it i use it every day so uh, i'm going to show you how i use it so, like I said, it works on any stock. You could type in any stock, any, any, like anything, anything you could plot, it will work on. So, you know, we're gonna be looking at Bank of America for this example. And pretty much what you wanna do is you're gonna see some green and red clouds on the screen. And then you're gonna see whether the stock is likely to rise or to fall. Now, in general, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna see that, you're gonna see these clouds and you might think, uh, well, first of all, the algorithm simplifies everything and, and flat out tells you whether stock's likely to rise or fall. Now, here's the thing. What you have to determine is, you know, you, you could get in when the uh, stock's gonna go up, which would be in a green cloud, or you could, you know, just short the stock or exit your position in a red cloud. Now, normally traders think that it's best to get in like right at the start of the uptrend, right when it's, you know, about to turn up. And, you know, as much as I'd like to tell you, that's not the case. You know, no one can catch the low on any stock. And that's not what we're trying to do. What we want to do is we want to just Find an uptrend, identify it. That's what the algorithm does. It identifies these strong uptrends, and then you just have to play it. So my recommendation is do not try and catch the low. So you do not, you do not want to trade a stock if it's like bouncing back and forth. You see like how there's a half red cloud, half green cloud. You know, you don't want to trade in those times. Even right here, it's half red, half green. You don't want to trade when it's like that. You want to buy a stock when the cloud is green and, and the stocks in the cloud you know you would want to buy right here any point up to here you would want to buy any point up to here you know you don't want to buy when it's you know bouncing back and forth between between red and green when it's in the green cloud buy it you know it's a great buy signal uh same thing like right here um you know you would it would be a good short right here you know it's it's just in the cloud it's a clear red downtrend be a good short and now when the stock has been in the green cloud for a little bit uh you'd be able to enter around here like on this example you don't want to enter when it's all jumbled up and crazy right there so you know you can do this on any time frame trading view is an awesome platform it works on you know any device they even have an app if you're on ios and i'm sure at the time of this recording uh you'll be able you'll be able to get an app for the android or google play store now what you can do is you can go to like a five minute chart you can go to a one second chart you can go to a two hour chart you can go to a month chart you can go to a range chart anything whatever you do the algorithm is going to work on so Personally, what you want to do if you are looking for like quick swing trades, I would recommend either a daily or weekly chart. The weekly chart will be safer. A daily chart, you're going to see a lot more like bounces back and forth, like half green, half red. But on the day, on the weekly charts, you are going to see they're a lot more clean. Like if we take a look right here, they're much more cleaner. So, you know, keep that in mind, uh, you know. You can use it either way, it just depends. If you're holding for the long term and you want like just like a super safe thing, you could go to a monthly chart, that'll be great too. And that'll just tell you, uh, like I said, it'll 
it'll just take time to load. But you know, whatever chart you want to do, whether it's a weekly, uh, monthly, or, or daily, it all works. But um, depending on you know, the longer you're holding, the longer chart time frame you want. So if you're day trading, you're gonna want a five minute chart or a one minute chart. If you're holding for the next couple of years, you're gonna want a monthly chart. If you're holding for a month or so, you're gonna want a weekly chart. If you're holding for like a couple of weeks or a month, you know, a weekly chart will do. If you're holding for like a day or two, maybe three days, four days, a daily chart will work out fine. So then what we can look at is, if we take a look at AXP, um, we can see, so there are a couple different modes for the, the algorithm too. There is a day trading mode and a swing trading mode. 99% of the time, you are going to want it in the swing trading mode, that is the default mode. To edit the modes, what you do is you click at the top left right there, click that, go to settings, and then just if you want it for day trading, click this first box and it says uncheck for day trading, click OK, and then it will work for you know day trading. Um, what happens when you do this is there's just a couple things behind the scenes and you um, you know you don't really have to worry about it too much but really what it does is it just clears up the charts and, and you know puts the algorithm in a day trading state so the uh, the algorithms know what to calculate so you know like for this example with axp this would be a great short you know you see it's in a clear downtrend stock says it's likely to fall and, and there's a lot of loss there's a lot of um, fall potential right now the stock's at uh, 129 bucks, and you know we had the cloud going all the way down to about 128 dollars and 37 cents. It's about a 50, about a 50 to 70 cent move. Great play, uh, great for options or even or even just shorting in general. So, like we said, uh, there's a couple different modes. You can also apply certain um, certain uh, certain certain support and resistance lines to the chart too. So to do that, go to settings. Click uncheck to enable support and resistance lines. It'll draw these lines completely automatically. You can see that there's a support line down here, right there, resistance line right around here, and up there at about $126. So um, you know, it's completely up to you. You can enable or disable these at any time. Um, you know, it's pretty simple overall. My best tips, if you are just looking to swing trade stocks or just buy and hold stocks for a couple days. I would definitely look at a weekly and a daily chart. You know, really what you could do is you go to finviz.com and you could build a custom screener. So you could look for like uptrending stocks. So if we go to finviz screener and we go to signal, if we go to like, uh, let me see, if we go to ascending, let me see. If we go to like overbought, this could be good. Go to overbought stocks and then you're gonna get a list of stocks Whereas you know any one of these stocks, CBB, ADAP, just throw them in the algorithm, see what the algorithm thinks. CBB, let's take a look. So you know this is uptrending. You know it, it, there shows no sign of a downtrend, so it'd be a good play. Um, you know any one of these stocks, just plug them in, and it'll uh, it'll give you a good reading. So if we go to ADAP, CLGN, so ADAP, you know another good one, predicted the move up. CLGN, same thing. Uh, you know, there shows no sign of a downtrend. So, you know, these are all great plays. You know, all you have to do is play those. That's how you find the stocks. And this algorithm will tell you what the stock's going to do. So, you find the stocks on Finviz using that screener I just showed you. And then, you know, just analyze it through this. Uh, in terms of exiting, really what you want to do is you know, you know, especially if you're swing trading, if you're ever up like 20% or 30%, especially on a stock, even 10%, you're gonna wanna take the profits and run. You know, you're not gonna, you shouldn't expect, you know, 80% returns, especially on like a stock equity trade. If you're trading options, it's zip, it's different, but um, keep that in mind. You know, you don't wanna swing for the fences. You know, the 10 and 20 and 30% profits add up very quickly. So those are great. If you are ever at that point, I would exit. Um, if you're not, like let's say you're up like 8% and, and you wanna hold, you could just wait until the the uh, cloud turns choppy or red or, or you know, the stock just stops moving. But uh, you know, that's overall how, uh, how to use it. If you're looking to use it for options or, or for day trading, for example, uh, let's say we look at like Apple and we could just go to like a five minute chart. It like, you know, it, it does it pretty well. I mean, it forecasts it really well. It's right 85% of the time, which is amazing. You know, it tells you right now in a matter of minutes and it, it all uses math and you don't have to know any of the algorithmic trading behind it. Literally, it tells you right now, Apple, 
is likely to fall. So this could be a good day trade. It tells you how likely it's how far it's most likely going to fall to. 312. You know, it might fall to 3 312 20. It might fall to 312 35. But you know, you know that the stock's likely to fall. And this will give you a huge insight. So uh, keep that in mind. There's a ton of different features. I mean, it's just insane. Like I said, we have two different modes. So if you were day trading, I would want to switch the mode to day trading mode. It just clears out the chart a little bit and uh, the algorithm knows to do certain things.